Hi, yet another journal to share with you. This one um, I called Montana, and it is inspired uh, by Montana and just pretty much nature in general, mostly nature in general. It is for a young girl who's going to be traveling with her family to Montana, and um, she loves nature, and she wants things to be able to do in the car and places to put pictures and things that she's gotten during the trip and places to journal and pretty much something to do on this long trip that she's taking with her family and um, I had so much fun making this journal this is a big one it has three signatures of I don't know around 120 pages I want to say I didn't count exactly but it is made from scratch it has a curved spine um, and yep I built it from the base up Three signatures stitched in, lots of stitching, this beautiful Planner Society paper, and then these um, birds. This is an embossed folder of these birds, and then I used the um, Ranger Perfect Pearls, and there's some sewing and distressing. I put metal book corners on it, and on the back, there's a lot going on too. This beautiful tree bark pattern is actually um, a stencil, a Tim Holtz stencil, and then I used brown texture paste. So it's very tactile and there's some lace around the tree with this garment pin, some green beads, and this little butterfly hanging. The closure is this really um, lots of fibers and yarn, little beads tied onto it. She loves blues and greens and animals and nature. So that's pretty much what I did here. Um, here's Planner Society paper here on the inside that has deer on it. And then there's some tree bark or wood green um, paper, some ledger paper. Um, here's a little vintage botanical journaling card. A lot of the paper clips have a little green bead on them. There's this pinkish, orangish, yellowish coffee dyed paper as well as regular coffee dyed paper throughout. Here's some more wood green. And then I used the, I was really playing around with Distress Oxides in this, the Tim uh, Holtz Distress Oxides. So here's the Memory Dex card with some Graphic 45, I think it's Graphic 45, moth stamps. And here's a little journaling spot or a good place to play hangman or tic-tac-toe or keep a list of all the license plates that she sees or something like that. Here's a, a beautiful Hampton Arts coloring stamp. Digital um, collage club. Sorry guys, it's about bedtime and my brain stopped working. A little bird tag there and then here's some stenciling on line paper, washi and um, some stamps here. Here's a big tag, and I don't know if you can see it very well. I added some Distress Oxides, and there is a leaf stamp here, and then a Tim Holtz sticker that says Imagine. Here's a tag page. This is from Calico Collage, a Simply Spring Collection. Glimmer Mist, and then this says Live. Here is a book page from a Winnie the Pooh book. Here's a paint chip card that I, it says Mountain Mist and Green Magic for the paint colors. And I added Distress Oxide and made it a little corner tuck spot with a book page from a children's book called Windmill Hill about little nature creatures and mice and things like that. Here's a journaling prompt. Here's the story so she could write, you know, something that happened here. A little wooden bird button on this paper. And this says it's the little things that make life big. So that's another journaling prompt for here. Here is a little uh, tag. This is a Victoria Designs tag and a Calico Collage Simply Spring Mushroom Square on that. These big pages, I figured she could either still write, um, she could doodle, or put pictures. This is from the Old Design Shop and it is Vintage Ivy. Here is a teeny tiny little envelope with a teeny tiny little tag just to be cute. Another calico collage square with a bird here. And then here's um, a tag. I added Distress Oxide and some lace to it. Graphic 45 stamp there. Here's a bling sticker of a bird. This is a big tuck spot for photos or receipts or, you know, if they stop different places, um, touristy places, maybe the brochures she could slip in there. The other side of that poo page. This is travel on this tag. 
Here is a diagonal belly band with a journaling card that says noted. So lots of room for her to write something or draw pictures there. And here's a graphic 45 stamp. The world is so full of a number of things. I'm sure we should all be as happy as kings. More lined paper that's stenciled. Here are some deer in this beautiful snowy picture. And that's a tuck spot to put photos or other things in there as well. Here's, I've added this blue washi tape and this says photographs. So I actually put some pictures here if she would like. This is a pocket and this is range of the black bear. There's a black bear and then it's range in the United States and this little tag and some washi. More ledger paper, printable ledger paper. This is from the old design shop. It's a poem about pigeons. Some glitter pink washi there at the bottom. This pretty distress oxide kind of fern stamp. Then I added this guest check so maybe she could keep a list of the hotels they stopped at or the places they stopped to sleep or whatever. And there, I stamped it as well. And then here there's a journaling card that says smile and a tag with butterflies. This is that location symbol and so I thought maybe a map or something she could put there. Some more Distress Oxide stamping. Here's a little tuck spot with a little blue tag and it says adventure. I added some pink lace to the side here, a little pink flower and a garment pin with some green beads. This is from the old design shop, a printable as well. It says it's a song that says come little leaves. Here's another little tuck spot that says laugh and a teeny little tag. This is a Canadian lynx and a little bit about the lynx there. This is from the old design shop, some vintage mushrooms. Another tag from Dig Digital Collage Club and I added a bead to that. And it is um, clipped on with a little kitty cat paper clip. This is pretty pansy paper. And this is also from the old design shop. It's a little stamp and rhinestones in the corner. A little banner tuck spot with a sewn around journaling card that says grateful. Some more stenciling on this lined paper. It's a good place for a picture. Another different image but same collection of the vintage ID. Oh and I forgot to show you in the middle of every signature there are three little green beads sewn on there. Another place for a photo. Some more this is Glimmer Mist on this one here. Here's a pretty little flower punch and rhinestone in the corner. This is Sweet Memories and it's a tuck spot. So she could put photos or memories in here and then list what they are on here. This is the um, New World Tree Porcupine and a little bit about the porcupine. Some more oxide stamping. It's a little tag. Some more mushrooms. Another good place for a photo. Here's a binder clip that says ASAP with a bead on it. And it says these are the days we will remember with some moth stamps on there. So it's a good place to journal. Here's a journaling prompt. Always take the scenic route. It's a little um, felt sticker and some washi. This is me. So she could write about herself here if she'd like. There's a little corner. A little uh, paper strip down here and a journaling card and some pretty mountain flowers. The rest of that poem about pigeons. This is a beautiful butterfly from the old design shop. More stenciling. Another little wooden bird button. This is a photo that I printed online. Um, some mountains in Montana and then I used the distress oxides to really make it old and then stitched around it and made it really like ripped and vintage and gave it a lot of character and then I added start each day with a grateful heart so that would be a good journaling prompt for this page. Here's a graphic 45 stamp of a little girl on a swing. It's very light in the background so she could journal over it and then here's a prompt with brave wings she flies with some little graphic 45 birds and a little bit of lace there. This is also from the old design shop. Journaling card that says remember that time with a little Tim Holtz flower clipped on there and a tag on this side. 
This is Montana. And here's about Montana. And I added some butterflies. This is Don't Forget to Fly with more of those birds. Here's 10 Best Moments journaling card prompt. This is a vintage children's book about dogs and cats and all that. And I added some lace and a butterfly and a rhinestone. And a butterfly to this page. Lots of places, places to put photos. Another ivy spread with some beads. Lots of places for photos. Here's the little cat. Here is a frame with a pretty flower. She could put a photo here if she wanted to. This is Have a Happy Day. Here's more about Montana and the rest of the map. And I just added some trim and a button. A corner there. Here's a little sewn tuck spot with a journaling card with lots of space. A little coloring page so she could color if she'd like to. A feather here and some flowers and doodles on this side. This is about mountains and it's a tuck spot. So I figured she could put photos of the mountains that she sees in here if she would like to. This is see possibility everywhere. There's a graphic 45 stamp there. This is family. So she could write about or put a picture of her family here. There's a flower there. And then clipped on here is a journaling card that says enjoy. Really pretty rhinestone sticker up here. More glimmer mist and the rest of that butterfly in the back is my card. Some more deer. And I hope that this will be plenty of room for her to put all sorts of amazing things. Um, and I better tie this on just a little bit better. Um, I'll do that off screen. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this and it is what you were looking for. Um, that it will be amazing on your trip. Lots of family memory, memories can be kept there. Lots of happiness that it can be kept for many years to come. I had so much fun making it for you. And I hope that you love it as much as I loved making it.